Hi everyone, this is Karen Hightower. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of watercoloring using the Sweet Spring stamp set from Gina K Designs. I have a piece of Arches cold press watercolor paper that I've cut it down from the big size it was to a manageable size. I'll trim it up later uh, towards the end of the video. I have the Karen markers that we'll be using today, and I have this image in my Misty, but I'm gonna lift up the edge to make sure there's no air under it. And then I will ink up that beautiful bouquet with the Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink in the Obsidian color. It's a nice dark black. And I had to do that two or three times to get a really good um, image on that paper because of the texture of that watercolor paper. So I grab my Stampin' Bug to apply pressure evenly all over. Then you'll want to take a larger paintbrush and just dip it in your water and you're gonna paint over the entire surface. And then take your marker and you're gonna scribble a little bit of the green over on a work surface that is, you know, made for that. And you dip your brush in the water and then into your pigment and you just smear that color all around the, behind your flowers. You can even go over the leaves. And you can see I've grabbed some blue to add to my background, but I put it over my flowers too. I knew I was gonna do the center of my flowers blue, so that's why it didn't bother me to do that. But even over the petals, I'm, it's gonna be pink flowers, so the pink and the blue go together just fine. It's it, You won't even notice it once you paint it. Anyway, so I'm gonna finish filling in the background. And I grabbed some pink and started doing it, and then I changed my mind. I decided not to. I let it all dry, and then I grabbed the royal blue, I think is the name of that color, and I dotted around. I'll put the name of all the colors and sizes down below the video. Anyway, I dotted it all around, and I used my brush just to blend out that color. And for the leaves, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use my brush with just water on it and go over the leaf. And then I'll take that green and put it in the nooks and crannies and blend out the ink. And you can see it wherever you feel like you need more green, just put it there and blend it out a little bit. Um, I don't have a highlight spot on here so to speak, but I do add different colors. I'm adding a little bit of a curry on here. It's kind of a greenish, brownish, olive -y, uh, kind of color. Anyway, I blend it out, and then I will use some apple on there to kind of brighten it up. I do like to use yellows or blues or different colors when doing leaves in different areas just to liven up the leaves some so they're not all flat one color. So then we'll let these leaves all dry. I'll do the rest of them and then we'll start on the flower. So I'm going to rinse my brush and add some water, just clear water, and wet a few of the petals and then I'm going to start adding color on the tips and then pulling the color down towards the center of the flower. Now some flowers, it's vice versa. You can put it down at the bottom and pull it out towards the tip of the flower. So that's the good thing about flowers. There's so many different ones and they're all so beautiful. Anyway, so we're gonna continue adding color around here on this flower. And then we will move on to the next flower. And we'll just keep doing the same thing, laying down some color and blending it out with the wet brush. After finishing that flower, I decided I wanted that big focal flower of the three to be a little bit darker and to have a little more color to it. I do like the soft muted color that it was, but I felt like it needed to be a little brighter like the other two. And then we will go and add a little bit more color in our nooks and cranny and blend them out. Just wherever you feel like you might need a little more color. Then I'm going to grab that blue pen and I'm going to go around the center of each flower just to give it a little more definition and darker color. Then I grab my T-square ruler and a it's a uh, multi-liner Copic. It's a 0.5 and I'm going to draw this into a square around it uh, with the flowers hanging, you know, over the edge of the square. 
Um, I got the idea from the stamp itself on the back of the stamp. When it's in the package, it kind of looks like it's got a square around it the way it's made. So it's like, oh, that gave me the idea to do this. Anyway, so once I finish that, I'm going to, I did cut it down to size, and like I said, I'll put measurements below, and I'm going to stamp my greeting underneath the flowers just outside of the frame there, and then I'm going to attach it to a piece of black onyx cardstock, and then I grab a layering weight piece, and I stamp the flower, one of the extra flowers in the stamp set, and I'm going to use that marker and just do the center of the flower. And that way my inside of my card has some color and decoration. And then I'm gonna add some bling. You'll see me here fussying around with it. And I use some black from my stash and I use Gina's Aurora, Crist Aurora Crystals um, for the extra bling on there. And my Connect Glue, I move a crystal and put the glue down and then I do that all around then I go back and put crystals back where they go. Anyway, um, that about finishes this card project up. I'm so glad y'all joined me today. I hope you enjoyed the card and you can find me on Instagram at their Karen Hightower. You can find me over in the Gina K Designs Friends Group on Facebook um, and you can find me here. Please like my channel, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the bell. I don't do a whole lot of videos, but I do enjoy doing them. So y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.